was up again this morning before the sun rose. I had to get into work early. The boss offered me some extra hours. What with the kids and the other one on the way. God knows I can use the money. But Joan, she wonders don't I work enough hours as it is? It's easy for her to say. I know she looks after the kids all day, but I've got a family to support. I can't be slacking or some jumped up lad will come and take the work from me. Anyway, the boss said he's been liking my work recently, so he's offering me two men's work and pay and a half. Can't really be complaining with this cash. I'll be sure to have a few extra drinks on Sunday in the pub with the boys before my dinner's cooked. Who knows, if this works out, we might even be able to go home for summer. I mean, imagine that. Pops has been rating to me, telling me he'd love to see the new one, and I know Joan would love a bit of time back in Cork. I'll tell you what, though. I hope these new hours don't mean I have to work with that Mr Brown. God knows I can't stand the man. I couldn't give a toss who his father is or how much money he has inf invested in the firm. He's always interfering with my work. What does he know about it? In his fancy suit with his top hat? I even overheard him complaining about us to the boss that me and the lads weren't working hard enough. I said to the fellas in the pub on Saturday, who does he think we are? The only boys slacking are them English lads who ain't got any idea what a hard day's work actually is or how lucky we are to have jobs and they have the cheek to call us stupid paddies. I tell you, it's a good thing I haven't got a temper like some of the lads. I mean, some of the things us Irish have to put up with just ain't right. We work harder and for less than the English but all I ever see in their magazines and their posters are things making us out like we're idiots. I might not have had the best education, but I'm good at what I do and I'm better than most of them other immigrants who make the East End so crowded they can't even support themselves. Oh. But anyway, still, I can't be complaining that much. I mean, last week we went round to Jones for Sunday lunch. It was a cracking meal, but afterwards I got talking to Patrick while the girls were in the other room. He was telling me how it was when he first came over. They hated us back then, he said. I told him they ain't that fond of us now. But he said it was different. It didn't matter what you looked like, whether you were from Mayo or Derry, a Catholic or a Protestant, even a man or a woman. We were all lumped together as ignorant paddies and biddies. At least now we have the Irish area of the East End you were saying. Back then, uh, you'd still have the English lot lumped in with you, and they would spit on him as they went on the way to Mass. Bloody heretics. Can you imagine that? Spitting on someone in their Sunday best going to Mass. But he was saying it wasn't that long since being Catholic was still illegal over here when he first came over. But you would have thought by now these bloody English would have accepted us more. 